mother is demanding answers from the Sanford Fritch Independent School District after her six-year-old daughter was put in the shower by a teacher's aide. The first grader at Sanford Fritch Elementary was stripped and showered due to what school officials are claiming was a hygiene problem. It is still unclear whether the incident is illegal. Last Thursday, she was given a shower at the school. Um, they took her down to the office and stripped her down and um, they put her in the shower and washed her body. They told her that they were doing it because her naughty spot was dirty. Jamie Williams says she was shocked after her special needs first grader at Sanford Fritch Elementary was showered by a teacher's aide without parental consent. She tried reaching out to Sanford Fritch ISD but was turned away. Pro News 7 tried to speak with the superintendent but he refused to comment. They told me that that's their standard procedure, that they don't contact the parents beforehand, that they don't have to have parental consent. Fritch PD was also unable to provide answers. I tried to file a police report and I was told that I could not file one, that nothing criminal had taken place. Whether or not a crime has been committed, I can't really say until I get a full statement from mom. Chief Leggett did clear up confusion about what may constitute a crime against a minor. If something is done with the intent to create arousal or to gratify oneself, there could be a crime involved. We as the police have to prove the elements of an offense for us to move forward with it. If we can't do that, then basically there's not a crime. If we can clearly define under the penal code or the code of criminal procedure what has happened, then we appropriately submit that to either the county attorney or the district attorney within our county. For Williams, the situation has had an effect on the entire family. It's, it changes you as a, as a parent. You know, when your children have been violated or you feel like they're not safe in a public school that should be protecting your children, yes, yes, it affects all of us. Jim McClellan, the superintendent of Sanford Fritch ISD, released this statement. I am aware of a complaint brought forth by a parent recently and assure you that the SFISD administration has investigated and looked closely at the concerns that have been raised. Due to both federal and state law regarding confidentiality of student information, I am not at liberty to comment on any specific student or situation involving a specific student. Although a parent can do that, we as school officials are not authorized to do so without written parent consent, and I do not have such consent. I can tell you that whenever a parent brings a concern to our attention, we try to resolve it informally, but if it is not, I give direction to that parent in regards to our formal grievance and compliant policies. As of today, Thursday, February 14, 2013, there has been no formal written complaint or grievance filed. Jay, back to you.